Hey folks, welcome back. So by the end of today's video, we are gonna have this ladder out of here. We are gonna have a set of stairs coming right up through here. And then actually we're also gonna put sort of a little uh, porch kind of balcony thing across that span over there. So without further ado, let's get to work. All right, well, the next step should be uh, kind of interesting. It may be a little tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a skid steer to lift up our posts and get them kind of holding in place there. And then we gotta attach a piece that will connect from the mill house over to the post to kind of hold that in place so that we can put our cross piece that will connect between the two posts. It's, it should be kind of interesting. This is one of those things that in my head, I think it, it's gonna work, but once I start doing it, sometimes they don't work out quite so well. So uh, let's uh, switch it over to the time lapse and see how that goes. All right, so for the next step, you guys may want to hold on to your seats a little bit because this may be a little bit of a shock to you, but we're going to work on getting in the, uh, the floor, the decking, that stuff up here. Now, historically speaking, doing stuff like that, specifically referring to uh, <clears throat> the mill house, it takes me somewhere around a year and a half to two years to put the floor in. So uh, I, I do understand if this is a little bit shocking that I'm actually getting this all done in one week, specifically getting the floor in, but that'll be the next step. We're gonna throw some boards up here, get those ready to go. We aren't quite square here. It's not the, uh, the same length corner to corner. So we're gonna have to pull on that just a, just a little bit, get that squared up. Then we'll start hooking boards onto there. That'll hold it in place and then uh, we should be good to go with that part. So the next step in this project is, well, you know, put in the stairs, put in the steps. And this is gonna be the hardest part of this build because, well, for one part of putting the stairs in, and that is the stringers. And the stringers are the part that are gonna be kind of going diagonally all the way down through here, and it's what your treads actually set on. And from all of the, uh, the YouTube videos that I've watched trying to figure out how to do these, it's about equal parts of science and art. And the art part of it just 
takes some practice and even guys that said they've you know done many of these before said you know what and I still screw these things up sometimes and have to redo them but I guess we don't get any better at doing these by well not doing them so let's grab some lumber and start messing around with this. All right, well, we got one of these things done. And uh, a note to my future self and to any of you guys, using a, a battery-powered circle saw is not a good idea, especially a DeWalt one, because what happens is you run these things for just a little while, and then they start overheating. And uh, you, know, you only run out maybe a third of the juice out of it, and then it just won't do anything more. So I have to set that one aside, put in a different one, run that one for a little while, then that one overheats, grab a different one, put that one in, and just keep on cycling back through them. So anyways, back to the stringers. I did some rough calculations on these, and the board itself, like the one on the back there that's not cut, that one clocks in somewhere around 160 to 170 pounds for the, uh, the length, width, thickness of it. Uh, and for it being red oak. So I figure, you know, a cut stringer is probably maybe 125-ish. So these are gonna be fun to try and get installed and get everything in place with them. So what we're gonna do next while we wait for our wonderful batteries to kind of cool down a little bit is we're gonna take this one that we have ready to go and we're just gonna kind of lean it up in here to try and see where it's gonna come out at the end and we already have several rocks over here that we're gonna use kind of as a uh, foundation for that end of our stringers, the lower end of our steps. And that'll kind of tell us where we need to get those set up and we can start messing with that a little bit. Once we get that figured out for where those need to be, then we can start messing around with making sure that they're all you know, in the same level at the right height and all that kind of good stuff. All right, so today we brought along the uh, corded AC powered circle saw so we don't have to contend with batteries and batteries overheating and dying and all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of these stringers uh, notched out today and get those up in place. Alrighty, so I just spent a little bit of time slicing up some treads for our stairway here. So I think that's all we need to start getting this thing finished off. Alright, well progress was a little bit short-lived on this. Uh, as I was starting to get everything lined up and ready to go, I realized that the middle stringer was just, it wasn't quite right. Uh, I did something that I shouldn't have done. I don't know what it was, but I, I done did it. So I've spared you guys watching me have to make another stringer, and I've already got one ready to go over here. Hopefully, 
That one will just fit in there real nice, but next up we got to pull this thing out and get the other one up in here and hopefully that all fits together real nice and we can get the rest of these treads all put up in there and get this wrapped up this evening. All right, well, it's been a few days now since we got these stairs in. I didn't record anything the day that I was uh, putting these in at the end because it was starting to get late once I finally got these all put in place. So I didn't have a chance to talk about it then. But first of all, I'm a little bit bummed that I missed uh, that the camera had timed out on um, time lapse. So we kind of we kind of missed part of it. But, you know, we got the first one, we got the last one and some of the ones in between. So. You know, we, we got most of it, we got the important parts. Now one thing that you may have noticed is that when uh, I'm, I'm going up and down the stairs, you get a little, little bit of bounce in your step there. And for as long as this is, I probably, you know, hindsight 2020, could have put in a fourth stringer instead of just having three. Might have been a good idea. Now also you have to remember that this wood is super, super green. Tons of water in it. And this whole thing, just for the wood weighs in roughly a thousand pounds something around in that neighborhood I did some rough calculations on it however give it another year or two and we're gonna lose like two three four hundred pounds of weight out of this just from the water coming out so that's gonna take a lot of weight out of this thing which should help with that bounce a little bit because you got less weight on it so uh, it should stiffen up a little bit uh, I, I think it should be better. We'll, we'll just kind of wait and see how that is. And if we really need to, maybe we'll add in a little post or something under here, but I think that should be fine. So next up for today, we are going to start trying to put some railing around here. Now, typically on a deck railing, you kind of have like a you know, little spindles in between each one of your posts along through there. That sounds like a lot of work. So we're gonna do it a little bit different. Now, it's probably not gonna, you know, if it, this was a residence, it wouldn't meet code or something for that. But I think for this, it'll be fine because I'm mainly just wanting something up there to keep you from falling off the edge, not to keep, you know, a little baby from crawling out through there or something. So I think this should be fine.
Alrighty folks, well, I think that just about finishes up this stage of the millhouse build, getting the stairs and a little porch deck area up top there. Now, some of you may have noticed that I only put a railing on one side of the steps, even though the other side of the steps, there is about a 10 or 12 inch gap in between the stairs and the siding. Now, the reason that I left the gap in there is that way in case I need to replace some of the siding boards or uh, the next thing I probably need to do for the mill house is to get the stain and sealer on it. That way I've got space in there to put that on and you know, just stuff like that. Uh, I've got a little bit of space in there to do some stuff and I don't have to deal with that that stairway being right up against the siding. Now I kind of went back and forth between putting the railing on that side as well and not doing it. Originally I said, nah, not gonna mess with it. I think it's fine. And I thought, well, yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and do it. But then I realized that I really didn't have enough space to get like the uh, pneumatic nailer in there, the air nailer. I really didn't have enough space to swing a hammer, which meant that I'd have to be hooking it from the inside, you know, the, the post and stuff from kind of the inside of the stairway. And I just said, you know what, it, it's not worth the hassle. I'm not going to mess with that. We'll, we'll just stick with the original plan of putting it on the outside. And I think that'll be just fine. Now, I'm not sure if the time lapse caught it or not, but I did attach a diagonal piece that kind of goes uh, side to side across the stairway because some of the movement that we were getting and that from you know when you're walking up and down was actually kind of going side to side. So I attached a diagonal piece on there and that did seem to pull some of that out of there and makes it a little bit stiffer when you're walking up and down. But like I said, I think some of that should go away as this dries out and kind of stiffens up a little bit, lose some of that weight. And I think that should be a little bit better walking up and down through there. Now, when I get around to staining and sealing the mill house, of course, I will do this at the same time, help get a protective coating on that and help make this last a little bit longer because of course, this really doesn't have a whole lot of protection. The roof only comes out a couple of feet over the end there, and this comes out five feet. So a lot of this is not protected by the roof. So I definitely want to get a good coat of uh, stain sealer on that to help uh, give that a little bit of longevity, and hopefully we won't be replacing that anytime in the near future. So I can't think of anything else that I wanted to say on this other than I am so glad to not be having to go up and down the ladder anymore. It is so nice, especially, you know, carrying tools and stuff, you know, up and down there. It's so much, so, so much better. Uh, really, really glad to have this project done. So I think that is going to be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time.